So let's go to this crazy shenanigan that we saw yesterday. Crazy shenanigan that took place outside of the courthouse. The jury goes to deliberation. It just so happens, I guess De Niro was just in the neighborhood, just walking down the street and thought, what do we got here? Trump's, what do you know? I'm outside of Trump's courthouse, the courthouse that's holding Trump's trial inside. What a series of coincidences here. Oh, look, there's a podium I'll go and speak from, and I'll do a campaign event for the Biden administration, the Biden campaign. Now, you, if you read anything about this, you're going to hear things like this. You're going to hear people say, Biden has done everything he can to keep from commenting on the Trump campaign. <laughs> Give me a break. They are in the middle of this. If you think any of this stuff has happened without communication, collaboration, collusion with the Biden White House, I've got a piece of oceanfront property to sell you right here in good old Monrovia, Indiana. This is, of course, what's what's going on, even though they want you to believe that Biden and, and the reason they want you to believe Biden staying out of the fray is because he should stay, he should stay out of the fray because the idea that one person's primary political opponent can target the other with a criminal invest. And I go, I know this is going into New York. But but these things have to be viewed. These things have to be viewed uh, just collectively. All these all these court cases, whether it's D.C., whether it's New York, whether it's Georgia, they all have to be viewed through the lens of through the lens of the left, the Democrat Party apparatus pushing this stuff through. And at the top of that apparatus is not is not actually biden himself now it should be he's president of the united states but the guy is just um well he's just an individual who's occupying the seat there are other people behind the scenes that are calling the shots and whoever those are whoever those people are which by the way pause that's why you know for you and i when we when we look at the reality that biden is the president of the united states that's mind-blowing to us and we we find ourselves thinking if i was a democrat or if this was if my guy was on the level of competence as this guy like we would we would find somebody else we wouldn't want this to be our representative or the, the person who led our party who led our country we wouldn't want that we would want someone else because we think he's obviously not up to the job but that's because we we want the president to do what the president's job is, which is to be the commander in chief, which is to be the chief executive, not to be not to be a puppet where someone else is calling the shots behind the scenes. So in that sense, if you're able to switch your perspective to believe and understand, which is, of course, what's going on here, but to believe and understand that Biden is simply a placeholder, Biden occupies a seat that's the person they can get elected they don't the, the people running the shot the show calling the shots don't have to put their name on a ballot they don't have to go out there and defend their ideas they just have to get their guy in the white house and then they can work behind the scenes and biden is a puppet now again it's tempting to think that biden is not an effective puppet because the guy is so incapable of keeping it together, of making any sense, any of that stuff. But at the same time, at the same time, he's got them. He, he's there now. 